What's up everyone, welcome to my sixth tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over a very helpful and important part of Adobe Premiere Pro. And those are panels. Now, you probably already know what panels are. It's all of these things. But uh, if you're just watching this tutorial for the first time, then what panels are, are uh, pretty much all of Adobe's tools are docked in panels. And all the tools that you ever need, Adobe put into a panel. So uh, all of the similar tools are grouped together. For instance, this is the project panel, this is the effects panel, source panel. And if there's a panel that you don't want to see or you do want to see, then just go up here to window. And any, these are all the panels right here. If there's a check mark next to it, then it means it's showing somewhere on the screen. And if there's no check mark, then it means it's not showing. So if you do want it to show, just click it and it'll show up. So, with that being said, let's uh, get started. As you can see, all of these panels are in a fixed location. And you can't move them around yet. And that's what we're going to be teaching you how to do. And as you can see, some take up a little space and some take up a lot of space. And people might want to uh, change this up a bit depending on what kind of projects they're working on. So the first thing that we need to learn how to do is how to resize panels. To do this, scroll over the edge of a panel until you get this little symbol that has two double arrows facing left or right uh, with two little parallel bars in the middle. And click down and you can drag a panel to make it smaller or bigger. Now since these panels are docked together, which means they're, they're connected, Resizing one also resizes the other panel. So as you can see, as I'm dragging one, the other one's getting bigger or smaller. So go ahead and test this out. And uh, you'll learn how to make the panels bigger and smaller. Now the other thing that you might want to do is remove a panel from its group. As you can see, this panel is alone. While this panel has three different panels in its group effects source audio now if you want to get one of these alone then here's what you have to do as you can see once I highlight a panel or click on it three little dots appear beside its name actually uh, five little dots if you want to go ahead and separate that from this group as you can see we have effects control source audio mixer click and hold those dots and drag it to somewhere else on the screen. I'm going to drag mine right here and let go. As you can see, this panel, effects control and source, now only has two. An audio mixer is alone in its own separate panel. And of course, if you want to drag that back, just click on the dots and drag it back until the title bar is highlighted purple. Then just let go. As you can see, one, two, three, they're all right there again. So that's how you can separate different panels or group them together in a nice tab fashion. Now another thing that you might want to do is undock panels. And as you can see, these panels are kind of all kind of stuck together, not like they usually are when uh, you're working with Windows or something like that. So to undock a panel, what you have to do is hold down the control tab on your keyboard and I assume when you're working with the PC and click where we did before to move it around now as you can see our panel is undocked and it can go anywhere freely on the screen now we have a regular window like we would when we we're just working with basic windows or something like that and again if we want to and this, again, is called a floating window because it's not docked anywhere. It's just kind of floating around your screen. Now, actually, I would never recommend doing this because I think it's really annoying. And it kind of gets in the way of every single other window. But uh, I just had to show you since people would be mad at me if I didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and get this back by clicking. And I'm not going to hold control this time. And I'm just going to let go. So remember, hold down control whenever you want to undock. And when you want to dock it don't hold control at all 
Now once we got our workspace set up just how we like it, you might want to go ahead and save it. Or if you are uh, made a familiar workspace that you know you're going to want to be using a lot, you're going to want to go ahead and save that. And to do that, it's very simple. Go up to this thing that says Window, go to Workspace, and go to New Workspace. Now we're going to name our workspace, and I'm going to name mine YouTube since this is for YouTube then go ahead and click OK and as you can see when you go to window workspace we automatically have our saved YouTube workspace so anytime we shuffle around windows and want to get back to this just go ahead and click YouTube again and it will pull us back to this and again if you want to delete a workspace just go down and delete whatever one you want to then click OK. I'm, I don't want to delete that one. I want to keep it. And that's how you can save windows and uh, how to rearrange panels, resize them, and make them float. So study this tutorial and get familiar with your panels and get yourself a nice workspace that you want because you're going to be using it a lot. And uh, I hope you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.